why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. There's a conversation to be had in this whole red pill discussion. There's a legitimate conversation, but people don't deal well with nuance. And that's the reason why this conversation, the conversation is this, there's a biological, there are biological urges on both men and women's sides that they're trying to satisfy, but we're living in a paradigm shift. Hmm. Back in the days, a man could be the breadwinner and, and right. take and 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 the the family could basically live off that man's salary. Those right. times are changed and they're gone. So you can't expect the relationship dynamic to be the same. So that's a right. legitimate discussion because women right. gonna have to make some changes in how they view men, and men are gonna have to make some changes in how they view women. Now that's a legitimate discussion. Yep, I agree. But nobody's having it. No, that's that's the discussion you've been trying to have on your Facebook page for like two years now. Yeah, exactly. Yep. This may be hard, but uh, I need you to submit and bend the knee. Make <laughs> me feel good. Yeah. Like, like how? Is the, what, let's look at this logically. Both it takes two people to maintain a household in terms of salary and income. So the mm -hmm. the man is going to a job and working his eight hours. The wife is going to a job and working her eight hours, but she has to come home and fulfill the, the duties of a housewife on top of her working eight hours. Exactly. Right. Is nobody going to address that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. No. Are we, are we just going to pretend that that's cool? Sex. <laughs> and this is, the, this is the thing. I'm, I'm going to say this. You, if that's what you want, if you want a housewife, you need to you need to work two jobs. Thank you. You got to be able if, to maintain that, that if you want that. You, you if you three. want or you make enough money that you can support that household and the children that you want, the lifestyle that you want, and the lifestyle that your wife wants. If you can't do that, then you need to just go on ahead and wash them dishes, sir. <gasps> and, um, you know. Take the garbage out. We'll, we'll have Listen. a schedule. First of all, you need to take out the garbage. Anyway, I'm not taking out the trash. I'm not this doing simple. this. To me, <laughs> right? to me, yes, this you is, will. This is, this is really simple to me. <laughs> I know that when I go to, um, let's say I go to Mexico or whatever, or I go to the Bahamas, I can't afford the penthouse. So I don't stay in the penthouse. I get a room that I can afford. Right. Mm -hmm. If I want a housewife, guess what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to bring in enough money so she mm -hmm. doesn't have to work. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And if I'm doing, if we're going 50-50, then y'all going to have to make some modifications to how this relationship is. She mm -hmm. can't come and do an eight-hour shift and then take care of clean the house and cook for you. And, and all you're doing is just working like her. Right. That don't make no sense, dude. You come in the house, drop your shit on the floor, expect her to pick it up. You gonna go in? That's a legitimate concern. When when when, when sisters mm -hmm. bring that up, I don't ever dismiss that and say, "Oh, she's delusional." No, she that's legitimate. No, it is. Mm -hmm. it, it definitely is. It is what a lot of these dudes don't understand. They, they they think is, oh well, you know, I'm a high value man myself, so yeah, right. I don't want you uh, you know, <laughs> bear these bear these uh cockles and clams and uh, <laughs> go fetch my fucking cup. <laughs> But you gonna make that damn soap. They they they, they fail us to see to see that connection. Like you want somebody to just be at home all just doing home shit all the time, but you work at McDonald's. Like or, no, or like, sir. not done. Sir. That's like you going. That's like you, <laughs> you going to the driver. Bahamas. That's like you going to the Bahamas and expecting to stay in a penthouse. That's stupid. Right. <laughs> right. 100% bro. You're going to have to be in the you're gonna, butter on my guess what? You're going to have to be in the room that ain't even looking at the ocean. You're going to have to be in the back. Mhm. Mm I mean, you in the you in the closet, the basement. Yeah. The, the the basement's closet. And and you plus what you um, can afford, dude. The reality of it to me 
um, is in modern time, the whole stay at home wife shit is just impractical. And what you, what you find is, is that most women who stay at home are not happy doing that shit anyway. It's, it's, it's very boring. And quite frankly, if she's staying at home and the guy is the main breadwinner, a lot of times she don't have her own money. She feels controlled. There's a lot of problems with that whole mentality. The whole, you should just let your lady stay at home. There's a lot of problems with that shit in modern times. And that's not coming from me. That's coming from everything I've saw, read, and heard. Mm -hmm. And so for you to try to push that on people and say that is what you really want and all you need to do is make six figures to have it, like that shit is like th that's one of those silver bullet things that they be selling on social media. Buy this mm -hmm. package and you can have, uh, you know, $70,000 in three months. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. there's much more nuance to the whole stay-at-home mom shit. There's a lot more nuance to it. And quite frankly, like I said, is it's problematic because when with, with modern time and the comfort that we live in with social media and all this other stuff, if you are going to be the main breadwinner, she's going to stay home, you control the money, it becomes a problem. Because, oh. and because can, can, woman... Say what? Can, for the sake of fairness and balance... I'm going to, I'm because I said what, what the men do to the, the, you know, the women expecting them to be housewives, yet they still working. Women going to have to make some changes too. Hmm. Without a doubt. If you, yep. if we going 50, 50 on everything, what is this, this, this thing where every time we go out is on me? No, come out, out, out of your Gucci purse and pay some of these goddamn bills. <laughs> You're supposed to leave with we your can't, wallet. We though. can't, we can't not have men maintaining their traditional ways. But then you want to be modern and contemporary and up to date. No, you're going to have to make some changes too. Give me that funk, that sweet, that mash, and that Gucci <laughs> stuff. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, mm -mm. That means that when we Somebody half, get the problem, we're going child. half on these bills. That's right. When we go out, we go in Dutch. <laughs> Don't expect me. Oh, the man should do that. No, get the fuck out of here with that. Those are the old times.